Hi, Jeremy Cordo in the Court of Public Opinion. I'm just on air here to let you know that we'll be live streaming the Court of Public Opinion every Friday between 9 o'clock and 12 on jeremycordo.com. Please join us. We'd love to have you. Hey, Adelaide, it's your boy Con from BTC, Brighton Trophy Centre. You ready, man? And now it's time for BTM. The place to be. It's about Let's go. In lockdown edition. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Hey, what up? Thank you very much to uh, Con and Lena at Brighton Trophy Centre, um, Steve the Pirate, Mind and Movement Physio, uh, and Lee and the team at Shifty Lizard. This is Best Teammates. It is a lockdown podcast. We made the commitment yesterday when we dropped the podcast. Uh, lockdown was announced in Adelaide that we would do as much of these as possible because there's more news in South Australia. So we will go around the rooms. First of all, Andy Martin, who is that a real <laughs> background or have you photoshopped the background in at the moment? It's uh, it's in the background. I'm in a storeroom, so um, uh, I'm in a little box co storeroom uh, because the kids are asleep, of course, uh, because they are here. They are here. (laughs) Straight down the barrel, Andy. Give us a sign if you're not okay. Just give us a hand signal if you need to be rescued. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, it's fantastic. Uh, Rosie Panetta, you are here. (laughs) Good evening, Rosie. Now, Rosie's. This is one of, I'm just going to drop a little radio trick on you guys. Normally, uh, when we used to work yeah. in radio, anybody who had a little bit of a complex, what they did was in their office, they hung up <laughs> the nomination for a radio award that just, to, not, make, that just to make no. people aware that, that they had been this, nominated for a radio this award. Is, now, this is Rosie going, just to let you guys know, I studied this, at a university. This is my study, <laughs> and those are useless, but my parents worked very hard for me to get them. So I um, I hang up in a study that I don't use. Okay. They're, they're no, that's totally fine. Awards. <laughs> Maddie Burgess, how are you, mate? Um, I've got a bin. Um, <laughs> where I no awards, but I've got a bin. I'm like angling it that way. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. It's good to be back. Sorry I missed uh, yesterday's. I was... At home, listening to some uh, infinite simplicity, oh, gosh. and um, <laughs> yeah, just going through their back catalogue of tunes. It's been awesome. So, what happened yesterday? Can you talk through it first of all? Because uh, for those of you who are watching on Facebook for the very first time, we do a podcast. Uh, thanks to the Ozcast Network, and we should probably say that when I say we, I mean me, because I'm the first voice here on this podcast. So, thanks to Ozcast for providing us with the opportunity to do this. Um, Matt, what happened yesterday? We gave an update of where we yep. were when we were told that there was a bit of a lockdown and I'm sorry if you can't see me very well. I do have a bit of lighting here, which is my daughter. <laughs> but but um, what, what happened, mate? Oh, what happened from your perspective? And thanks to Shifty Lizard, Andy, cover the mismatch beer you're drinking at the moment. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, just got a te- I just got a text message from Kira saying, I literally cleaned the whole room for this and you showed them the bin. So oh, she's pretty happy with me at the moment. Hey, well, thanks for watching yeah. though, Kira. Yeah, she that. just paused The Bachelor so she could watch that. Um, well, we'll get to that yeah, in a second, so, mate. Sorry, just checking to see if the food is <laughs> right, really right. right. <laughs> Podception. Uh, yeah, so yesterday was, and things moved very, very quickly and with my line of work being hand sanitizer and toilet paper, yes. um, I went into overdrive yesterday. So I was unable to join you in the studio, which was a shame, but I was um, there in spirit. Yeah, so you also were a bit confused because... For a lot of our listeners, they think, and including Andy, that all you do yeah. is work at Red Square. So <laughs> you actually have a pretty important <laughs> job in South Australia. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I work for a company that sells yeah hand sanitizer, toilet paper, disinfectant sprays, and all sorts of other cleaning Did you chemicals. Start this before COVID, obviously. I, the job. Yeah. I uh, didn't I'm, start COVID. No, I didn't start COVID. <laughs> that wasn't the question. No, I actually started. I I started in the job February <laughs> last year, so right as it hit. Yeah. Okay. Perfect timing. Great timing. Wow. We. Well, we have a lot to talk about, guys. Um, we've we've done the um the responsible or irresponsible thing. 
which is asking for people's feedback and questions to ask on the podcast. So Matt's going to go through the Instagram ones very soon. I have some on Twitter. Um, how did we go day one of lockdown? Now, we do have a best team eight, which is lockdown related. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, but how do we go with lockdown at the moment? I'm going to mute my mic because I think I'm going to cough in a second. I'm definitely, I'm fine. I'm not in a hot spot. But anyway. Let's go to Andy first. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Day one for me was uh, childcare. Yeah, guys. Um, day, yeah, day one for me was childcare. Yaz uh, has a little box car, of course, so she was off. That's uh, a helicopter, by the way. I live in Port Adelaide. <laughs> yeah, Are you outside, Jared? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just hiding. I love how, like, Andy looks like wherever he is. I'm in the Antarctic. Just, you just look so bright. You're so <laughs> lit up. It looks like you are, yeah, on one of the ice poles. And you are so dark below him. I wouldn't have said that. Yeah. I'd probably say the lighting's bad. <laughs> that one it's out. Fine. Post, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how'd you go, brother? Uh, are we talking about me again? Yeah, cool. Um, so yeah. Yeah. yes, yes, yes. Sorry, yes, I interrupted your blinding light. All day she had uh, deliveries because mm-hmm. everyone wants food at the moment for some weird reason. Um, so uh, yeah, happy days for that. But um, yeah, I was looking after the kids today. Had a few meetings this afternoon. Once one in the, the Netherlands, so that was interesting with the old. Uh, uh, with the kids or with yeah, other people? In the background and stuff, yeah, yeah. I, I had a little Millie on my lap for most of that, so that was good. Um, but, yeah, no, it's, it's been a fun day and um, hopefully it goes back to normal tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unlikely with what happened this afternoon. Um, Matty Burgess, what about you, mate? You obviously eat think working because of your job? Well, I am, but a lot of my accounts that I look after have shut down, so there isn't anyone for me to go and see. So I'm, I've mm. been told to stay at home for the next seven days and, yeah, um, yeah just chill out. So. Are you Although wearing thought, an Audi? Yeah, I am. Oh, well, uh, no, it's called a snuggle well. It's not an Audi. Oh, is that, is that oh. the more expensive yeah. one? Or? Uh, it's the better one. Yeah, but okay. yeah. More better manly. Com- better manly. company, yeah. So a uh, local Adelaide guy actually, Snuggle Well, so quick plug. Oh, this but, isn't product. No, 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 no. So, yeah, so I, I am home for the next seven days uh, and, yeah, got some work done around the house and did some weeding out in my driveway, which was good. Yeah, okay. So just anything I could do to stop the dog from pissing in the house was, uh, yeah, a bit of a task. That's, so. that's not a COVID-specific Oh, task that's just a though, isn't it? That should be just like an, <laughs> an everyday task. Don't yeah, you know what's really weird, guys? Else. I just noticed on our live stream, we actually have subtitles. Subtitles have jumped up on our Facebook Live, which is very weird. And just saw on the subtitles, it's saying, Stop the dog from pissing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. One, here's one. So, Rosie, Ooh, hopefully the shot. subtitles pick up your um, language, which is difficult to uh, understand. <laughs> yeah. I think Andy's got a little bit of laugh. Andy, we can't edit the live bits. <laughs> just remember that. There's no edit points right now. These are my so questions, Rosie, right? you actually have, were, you had to work today because you're an essential worker. So yeah, talk apparently us through that. radio is essential. Um, so I will well, go I mean. to work every day. <laughs> no, bizarrely though, first job of the day, um, yeah. I had to go and drop off a bunch of recording equipment to one of our breakfast hosts because his wife was in, um, was it, is it, are they calling that a hotspot? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, exposure yeah. site or whatever they're called. Yeah, an exposure site. So he has to broadcast from his house. So I had to quickly do a weird. It was like five thirty a.m. drop off to someone's. I looked so dodgy. I was like, just drop the package here at the gate and then drive away in the dark hours of the morning. Anyway, I want to give a shout me. out to Andy Martin, who is the best virtual speaker on a podcast because Andy. Like there's a thing about that I I have like a pet peeve, which I sometimes do myself actually. And you probably noticed that I do this now. I like so many people, I'm looking at the monitor and it's, I'm looking at the people speak. So when Rosie, you speak, I'm looking at you. When Matt speaks, I'm looking at you. When I speak, I'm looking at myself. And it's the same sometimes when you hold up your phone and you go to take a photo, you're looking at the photo instead of down the lens. Andy is absolutely outstanding in looking <laughs> right down the lens of the camera when you're talking. <laughs> you, you want us to see those Nicky so blue creepy. eyes, don't you, boy? It's, like, it's awesome, but also a yeah. bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I um, wait? Can you please? Do, I want to take a photo of that face just because. No, no, do your um, get a lady's face. 
<laughs> Next minute, Yasmin runs in and says, "Excuse me, I need Andy right now." Oh, oh yeah. my gosh! Um, so, can I give you a, a little bit of wisdom with Walsh? We've done this on the podcast yeah. once before, but um, I wanted to mention something that I learned today. So, two things because we've got like a seven-day lockdown in South Australia for now, right? Because of obviously um, six cases announced this afternoon, which um, are all related to the, the same kind of thing. There's a, a winery where there's five of them. There's one of them at the Greek, which Rosie, you're quite familiar with. Um, I'm more familiar with the winery than the Greek, but go on. Oh, well, but you are Greek, so it's kind of- I'm fit- not Greek. Okay, anyone sorry. Listening. Okay. So it kind of fits in anyway. Um, the, concerning, the, the concerning thing, obviously, is that someone who was not over the age of 40 has um, contracted COVID, which is concerning as a parent, right? So with, with kids uh, under the age of five, uh, that is concerning. However, the other thing is um, two things that I took out of COVID today. What's, what's oh, that, I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at Andy looking down the screen. It's so full on, <laughs> hey. It's full oh. on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Josh Miller's watching. He said, I think Andy just impregnated the viewers. With that look. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> not me. I got 50 hits now, dog. Um, so Two things I learned, especially for those people with kids. First of all, I was on my phone way too much today. Like this is an opportunity to stay away from your phone. So apart from having a look at, I love Andy also drinking the drink outside of the shot now, <laughs> because obviously it's not a shifty lizard. Well done. Oh, you're taking care of the clients. Yeah. So that thing, right? So tomorrow I've decided I'm going to stay away from my phone. I want to find out what's happening with the announcements of uh, restrictions and with the cases. So normally there's a press conference at 11 and p- potentially 4, 430. The other thing is, um, For those of you who, and I thought about you actually, Maddie, because we briefly mentioned on the podcast when we recorded it yesterday that you wanted to do your fitness campaign right up until Christmas. This now is an opportunity for all South Australians to do something active for 90 minutes every day for the next seven days. This is an opportunity where the government have said, we're in lockdown, but we are giving you a 90 minute window to exercise for that 2.5 kilometer radius from where you live. And I went, I went and did that today, but there's so many different things that you can take out of that. So like there's a personal challenge if you want, you can go, okay, so I'm going to push that 2.5 K radius and I'm going to go for a walk. And then tomorrow I'm going to do the same walk and try and do a better time. The next day I'm going to do the same thing. You could take the dog for a walk. If you are looking for motivation to be healthy and to be fit, Now is the time to start doing it because we're in lockdown, but we have a 90 minute window to do something active, which I think should be quite a a motivating thing physically, but also mentally to get out of the house. It's cold outside, which is fine, but go out and embrace the the opportunity to do something and do it like while it's good for you as well. So I think that's something that I took out of today too. There's a lot of people exercising and people that I hadn't seen before, like on the regular area, because we can. So why not make the most of it? That's my rant. Cool. Good rant. <laughs> <laughs> the queens are back. Yeah. yeah. What would you think? Is, did you guys do anything active today or is that just me? I forced Christopher to walk the dog because I had a headache. <laughs> is that a euphemism? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> walk the dog in the outland room, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, I've got a headache, mate. Just go to the laundry and walk the dog, right? <laughs> Far out. Just. <laughs> oh, the dog is real. Just, oh, man. Uh, I'm coming here and I've prove. had two neurofen. I've got a headache. <laughs> linguini walked. So if you need to like walk linguini, go and walk linguini. Just don't do it in public, though. Is that kind of what you're saying? It's almost exactly what I said. Yeah, fantastic. Shout out to Con from Brighton Trophy Centre who has uh, decided to say hello. Yeah, so but- should we go into the best team, eight guys, and yeah. um, get through it? Yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't part of that conversation. Okay. I don't think I've got no idea what it is tonight, so this will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> the best team. Eight. Yeah, we can hear it. Talk to it, Matty. Yeah, best okay. team, mate. Uh, I think if people are starting to catch wind of what it's all about now. So we bring up a, <laughs> a, a topic and, and we each bring two uh, conversations to the table. And I am like, Andy, I can't remember what we decided on today. So on to yeah, you, Jared. Okay, so <laughs> this is things to do 
Um, in oh yeah, Lockdown. that's right. So I want to I want to kind of um, uh, mold together two best teammates here because one of our listeners who is an incredible human being, a brilliant young footballer as well, Andrea, who has taken time to watch us do our Facebook live um, away from her watching the uh, Olympics where the women's football is on at the moment. Obviously, the Matildas are going to play in about nine minutes. So, um, Andrea, thank you very much. Shout out to David as well. So, Andrea wanted to know, like, the best um, go-to snacks when it comes to lockdown. So, let's put that put it together. And the best teammate will be your best lockdown tips slash snacks. One tip one yes. snack. What are we things to do? Yeah, what do you yeah same thing. Like oh. things to do is like a tip, but a okay. snack is also delicious. Okay, so Maddie, so give, us tip. Off, <laughs> <laughs> give us that as off. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with a snack first. Okay. Yeah, so Everybody. I've been eating a lot of jelly and um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you four yes. years old? Are you <laughs> <laughs> No, it's jelly. I haven't had jelly since I was a child. Hey, Maddie, can we just say to well, Andy, your microphone sounds like it's up your ass. Let's be honest. It sounds <laughs> horrific. Something's going on with your microphone. It's coming in and out. <laughs> no. I don't know, it just sounds, yeah, it sounds yeah. like you are, you've got seven socks on it. She's double socking. Double socking. Um, <laughs> that better. But I have another one. Uh, uh, it's not really. It's a no. bit muffled, but it's totally fine. Maybe it's because you've got the the sound effects stuff plugged into it, but we kind of don't need anymore. So that it doesn't matter. We'll just work with it. Yeah, Maddie, what's your first one on the best um, team? Peanut jelly. Peanut M and M's. Peanut yep. M and M's. Okay, I've had about eleven packets in the last two days of those. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you talk us through that McDonald's thing that you you sent us today? Because that's a, a nice little tip. Me. Yeah. I don't remember the image of McDonald's. You know, oh, like, oh, oh. well, the the eating challenge thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it was basically four double quarter pounder meals in ninety minutes. Okay. But yeah, that's the challenge, and I would honestly, without even talking shit, do that in about fifteen. <laughs> it's pretty bready oh, though. Okay. Lots of bread going on there. Yeah, I know, but bread's awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair, that's fair call. I mean, that's a good statement as well. Bread's awesome yeah. as for the next podcast. Um, Rosie, what's your lockdown uh, tip or snack? Tip or snack? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> snack, Um, I have about four bags of licorice co- ready to go. <laughs> licorice? <laughs> yeah, chocolate-covered licorice and chocolate-covered raspberry licorice. Yeah, good, 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 good. Smash a packet at night. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Andos, what do you yeah. got, brother? Yeah, I'm going down the healthy route um, because of Little Box Co. And uh, it's basically Willy Wonky here, right? So, uh, I like- do you get commissioned for every time you mention it? <laughs> <laughs> so I own the business, so um, yes. Um, <laughs> Have you had these before? They're peas. No. What are they? No. Yeah, they're like um, peas. peas that have been. Uh, is it dried out or dehydrated or whatever? There you go. Give them a drink. No. It looks like an off Cheeto. It's an off oh, Cheeto. It does. So, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, happy days. Oh, good one. Yeah, she, wow. Okay, no, that's fair enough. All right, I've never tried them before. Can you bring them in for the next podcast, Did you please? Just have them handy, just right there next to you. Gonna- <laughs> this is the other yeah. lockdown podcast <laughs> are the best. I love, I love it. Um, okay, so I, I've got a couple, but if I need to just pick one lockdown stack, so. Growing up in Tasmania, um, there was a a staple drink that we had, which was uh, through Cascade, right? So the drink was Cascade Apple Isle, which is sparkling apple cider. And that was my go-to. So my favorite, but it's not sold anymore. Um, And I needed to make the jump from Cascade Apple Isle to Devondale. Devondale has recently changed their bottles. Now, if you wanted to try this, you've got to go to the cordial section of Coles, um, and if you do that, it's over like in the far left kind of area, sometimes on special about $2 a bottle. Devondale sparkling apple juice is amazing, which brings me to a question. I need to ask this when we're halfway through the best team eight. Why don't or do you guys think that supermarket chains, so every Coles in South Australia, every Woolworths in South Australia, they should have a carbon copy, if not similar floor plan albeit the uh, size of the actual venue is different. Yeah, Why is it different? It's all, it's all automated. It's all done by uh, algorithms and calculators now. Oh, computers, sorry. So uh, like in the early days of the really? show, yeah, yeah, we, we would order a lot of stuff through there. And um, it got to the point where we were buying 
like rows and rows and rows of stuff and selling the, the gear out as soon as being put back in. And uh, they said, no, it's, um, we're, we're going to discontinue that product because that's what the computer says. That's what head office says. So it's, it's weird the way that it all rolls. Wait, is this, is this answering the question about the floor plan? <laughs> I don't know if it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the beer, guys? Keep the lizard. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I don't know. My question was, why no, doesn't Coles? Okay, why doesn't Coles have the same or similar floor plan for all of the different Coles in South Australia? Is well, that a big sizes, request? Yeah, but they could just like make them a bit smaller. Um, am I overthinking this? Yes. Yeah. Why are you going to so no. many different coals? Gosh. Just because I'm a person quick. of interest, so I need to move around <laughs> as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we've got the snacks. Fantastic, guys. Very nice. Okay. What about a lockdown tip? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Adam Pope as well, who's watching this. Pope, okay. we love you, brother. Um. So, yeah, my, my lockdown uh, suggestion uh, <laughs> no, you got to say tip, man. You okay, have to my, say tip. My lockdown tip. What do you have an issue with the word tip for? <laughs> no, I, I, oh, it's good geez, because of that. <laughs> <laughs> my my lockdown um, end is um, oh sorry. Um, my lockdown tip <laughs> is trying to learn something new. Like so, oh, we spoke about yesterday. You wanting to have the biggest penis. Yeah, that's music. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whether that's a language or an instrument or just yeah, you know, mm. use use the time that you've got to invest in in something that you uh, want to learn. Oh, by the way, like the subtitles in. Instead of the word penis, wrote penis. Of course it did. <laughs> did of, of course it did. Because you said Rosie, penis. What's your um, What's um, your tip? Uh, uh, my tip. I'm catching up on um on chores, so I just did Sunday night's dishes like just this afternoon. Isn't so. it Wednesday? Yeah, I was oh letting them God. soak. So it fair was enough. like a really so, so catch enough. up on those chores. And also, extra tip: I've run out of wine. Jared's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I've run out. So of So if you are thinking, um, first drop actually are doing free delivery mm. around Australia at the moment. So um, Rosie. I think you'd be a Grenache type of person in this time because you like to just smash a Grenache. So their Matador is outstanding. Yeah. Okay. I can, I can double I'll smash. Very nice. And uh, if you want to listen to the Maker and the Drinker podcast, it is on the Ozcast Network. Andy, show us your tip. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, so my tip is to uh, make sure the, the booze cupboard is quite full. Um, as Rosie has found out, um, but also, yesterday? just just I guess you have to reset in your mind to know that it's going to finish at some point. So yeah. just have yeah. fun with it. Yeah, I think it's a good one, mate. We couldn't oh, even go, hear that. Mike is it's wasted. That was just a um, silent can opening. Mm. No, nah, it's good. He's, he's very well. And I can see the guitar you stole from Nova right yeah. over your left <laughs> shoulder, which is really he's going to go get it. Come here. Oh, I remember that. It lived in the foyer, didn't it? No, nah, I lived in the brekkie office, I think. Oh, yeah. um, but it was, yeah, we used to be there. So my tip right, is mate. similar to what I spoke about earlier is um, we've got the opportunity to do a couple of things. So when you can't leave the house and also if you are not having to um, work from home virtually, use that time to go outside when you can. If you are thinking about making a change in your life, or if you are thinking about uh, assessing what you're doing in your life, we have more time to do that now. And this is forced time, which you don't really get a lot of. So again, um, my biggest regret was today I was on my phone too much. So tomorrow I'm going to stay away from my phone as much as possible and spend some really quality time with my my oldest daughter, who's almost five, um, because I didn't do that enough today and I feel a bit a bit guilty. So I think it's about just taking each day as it comes and um and just in, going through it. Like I tell you what, I went to my local cafe this morning and um I'll, I'll say their name because I, I love these guys at Mister Pilgrim in, in Semaphore. Um, everyone's struggling, man, and like they're doing. What we have, I think there's a part of us which is so familiar with, remember where we that circuit breaker um, when Woodville Pizza happened? Yep. And the we, that we went into lockdown. full lockdown, right? Like full lockdown. Nothing was open for 24 hours. Couldn't walk this, your dog. 
Yeah, exactly. Nothing hours. like that. Now, That's this okay. what this lockdown that we're in right now is you can still get takeaway. So you can still support your local businesses as much as possible. So I think if you can do that, this is the time to give back to them. And if you can drive past your cafe and get a takeaway coffee, or if you are like, if you're able to buy two, but you only actually want to drink one, do it because support these people right now um, because they provide so much happiness for us every day. Um, So I think we should definitely do that. So I reckon it's a real good best teammate, guys. What do you think? Andy, don't look straight into my eyes and wink, please. Andy looks like he's doing an interview on like the Today Show from his house. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's right, Matty. What's your... uh Yes. (laughs) Thanks, Sam Mac. Matty, um, let's lift the podcast curtain before we go. Do you want my tip? See you, Rosie. All right, see you guys. Oh, what was your tip? What uh, was your tip? No, your tip was the alcohol thing. eating plastic yeah. out of the bin. Sorry, go right. on. Such a massive tip. I it forgot is- about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, yes, Matt, you, uh, we had to do this at 8.30 tonight <laughs> Yeah, because you wanted to watch The Bachelor. So, please give everybody a review of The Bachelor. We've seen two things on Network 10 this yeah. week. First of all, the oh, um, the... What's the happening? dog, Rosie, the dog, are, sorry, the dog is like eating socks in front of me. Like he's brought me three pairs of socks and he's trying to ingest them. Please, okay. Is that the dog or <laughs> Christopher? <laughs> he's <laughs> below like eye level. Sorry, go on. Um, hey, Rosie, ten ten. Rosie, we've got a, uh, Kira just said the linguinis should meet. They should. We should have yeah. a little linguini meeting. Yes. Um. Anyway, sorry, Jared, you were talking about Channel 10. No, that's okay. And shout out Don's. to Harry. Harrington Potato Son. It's a very, I think that's a Scottish surname. Um, I was in isolation during the lockdown in November, didn't eat for the second day because I couldn't get anything delivered. Um, I don't know who Harrison Potato yeah. Son is, but um, hey, Spud. Um, so uh, the what I wanted to say was Channel 10 have shown two things this week. First of all is that the highly rotated commercial of that show, The Cheap Seats, which was on last night, apparently, with um, a couple of old mates, and then The Bachelor. And, Maddie, yeah. you refused to be live on the podcast tonight yeah. until The Bachelor had concluded. Take us through your first episode review, please. Well, it finished three minutes ago, so I missed the last half an hour. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Um, <laughs> no, look, if I, was the, if, I was the blo- if I was the bloke on it, I'd feel pretty ripped off. Um, yeah. <laughs> there was a, well... No, I mean, okay, no, no, I, no not, you're yeah. with me on this, Rosie, because I don't it's, think, yeah, there was some interesting people. There were some bogans. Oh yeah, like one chick said um, uh, when she met him that she was she was glad it went well because she needed to fart the whole time. Yeah. Mm. So I, I said, that's hot. So, <laughs> <laughs> on national that's TV, your, yeah. and all the things you could say. Now nah, this is the thing, Rosie. See, you you aren't comfortable enough. I've heard you fart so many times. Oh, that and you, is are, a you are lie. not comfortable enough within yourself to pass wind. And it's a thing. Like, so it's, a, okay. I've, it's a medical condition for me. So don't yeah. put it down. Anyway, I mean, I don't know if you'd say. And then the other girl who said, like, life is about eating and shitting. Is that what no, she said? No, she said, again, <laughs> in love. <laughs> she, said, she said, if you don't have love, then life is just eating and shitting. Again, I, mean, I don't think I have love. No. <laughs> no. I, I, said, I, said, I said to my wife halfway through it, if you're a female and you can hold a decent conversation and you're somewhat grounded, you'll probably win this competition because the rest of them were just nowhere. I think it was, you've, uh, picked, you've picked the winner, though. You've the, picked the winner, um, Matt. You, yeah, you I know. Can you say it out loud now and then we'll come back to you in, Ho- you know, four weeks and they wrap it up? Holly. Yep. Holly. 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 Yeah. What were you going to say, Andy? Uh, is there a chick called, uh, is it Laura on there from Adelaide? Yes. Yeah, she used to come to uh, all the Nova parties. Ah. Oh. Did she? Yeah. I'm going to just. I didn't really go to the Nova parties. She, I know, you, you were sort of in and out. A bit like she a- seemed a free spirit. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, got to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the funny thing about the reality TV now, and the, uh, Channel 7 copped a lot of crap with that bird from um, the UK who, who was basically a political commentator who just um, caused a lot of issues. Is that her there, Laura? Is that her? Yeah. Laura the Bachelor. Andy. No, no, no. Andy. Nah. No. Oh. Okay. Sorry Jody Hinton is watching Jody. at the moment as well. Jody, one of the, the best people Jody. that we have worked with at um, Nova. She said the fart girl was great. 
which is amazing. I ran into yeah. Jody in Canberra at Monica Oval. Jody's a legend, mate. Fuck, we love we love you, Jody. So the the thing about what the networks are doing at the moment. So that bird from the UK, who's that political commentator, who uh, is to be completely transparent, I don't understand right wing, left wing, all that other stuff, right? Um, I will vote for people who are nice to me. It's as simple as that. One, the, the premier asked me once how my daughter was by name. He's like, how's rain going? I'm like, I'm going to vote for you. Simple. So reality TV now is basically who's going to get more ratings as opposed to we're going to make good quality shows. The old school Big Brother, the old school Bachelor, the old school Amazing yeah. Race, the um, Survivor and stuff, that was when it was real quality, right? Now it's just looking for high impact, talkability, bite-sized bits on social media. Surely yeah. that's what – but people can see through that now, right? Well, I saw through it tonight. I, I also – I'm right into um, Beauty and the Geek at the moment as well. <laughs> wow, wow. We. where do yeah. you find the time? <laughs> Lockdown. <laughs> Adam Pope's just commented there was a, there was a listener party once, which I think was called Adelaide's. We did it at the uh, Adel- the National Wine Centre, and Pope was standing next to me, and there was this uh, this listener who just wouldn't stop talking to me, and it was really uncomfortable because I was like. I just want to get out of this conversation. So Popey was a witness to that. So um, thank you very much for that. Guys, um, we've had a lot of questions come in on Instagram and Twitter. How do you know that? Um, what, what do you want to go to first? Because we've had some genuine questions come in on Twitter. If you guys who are watching on Facebook at the moment, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, Steve the Pirate from Mind and Movement Arr. is watching this right now. Um, I busted you on the toilet yesterday, and that's why he didn't answer the door when I went to the gym to give you a present, so to speak. Um, so, um, <laughs> Maddie, why don't we go back and forth with Instagram questions, Twitter questions. You can follow us at Best Team Mate on uh, Twitter, I think. What's the Instagram? Same thing. Okay. What's the Facebook? Yep. Well, they're on it now, so. (laughs) (laughs) Facebook. Just have a look at your uh, your browser. Yeah, Rosie. Rosie, can we get your camera back in focus? I don't know how. I'm trying to work it out. Okay. Oh yeah, just press it. It'll work. Yeah, just 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 press it. (laughs) Scan your thumb. Have you turned it off and back (laughs) on again? There you go. So (laughs) jokes on you. Yeah, (laughs) great. Hey, what's that? Um, had a listener question, mate. We get it. You went to uni. Why are you displaying your degree? That is mine. That is Christopher's. From a listener statement. Mine's next to it. All right. Mine's (laughs) mine. Jerks. Yeah, right. You go first, Maddie. Give us an All Instagram right. question. Asking for a friend, where does Jared get his basketball jerseys from? <laughs> Good question. Am, 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 am I, I reading who these are from too, by the way? Okay. No. Nah. Um, so the NBA finals today, uh, can I tell you an awesome story about- You met Erna Takumbo. No, I haven't met him before, but oh. I've got a signed jersey from him, which is um, legit. So- there's this amazing story I wanted to tell you for from the uh, NBA Finals today. So um, Milwaukee defeated Phoenix um, in six games, 4-2. Now, Giannis Antetokounmpo uh, is Greek. He's known as the Greek freak. He's incredible. He's only 26 years of age, right? And he's won two MVPs, final MVP. He's unbelievable. And it was a, a really like, it was, is there actually the first NBA Finals that I've watched where I didn't care who won? Because I'm, I'm a LeBron James guy. So... I don't have an NBA side. I jump around wherever LeBron goes. And without trying to sound like the biggest wanker in the world, um, I uh, am the biggest wanker in the world. So I have this affiliation with Milwaukee because I went to watch Milwaukee play in Milwaukee. And that was the night that I met LeBron James. So I've always loved the team Milwaukee because it reminds me of that moment. So Giannis wanted to come to America and he's released shoes through Nike, which are the coming to America shoes, as similar to the Eddie Murphy movie. He, uh, and this is on social media today, it's a really powerful thing where he, all he wanted to do was provide for his family. He has three brothers. So two of them play in the NBA. Um, Thanasis, who plays for Milwaukee, who couldn't be there today to celebrate because he was in COVID protocol. So he was in a hotel while his team won the championship today. Um Costas, who played for the Lakers last year when they won, and one of their younger brothers who's going into the draft this year, hopefully. The thing about it is when he first got drafted by Milwaukee, he went to Western Union in Milwaukee, which is a money transfer place, and sent all of his money back to his family in Greece. And I know this 
because what happened from that was uh, a, a, a person in a car saw this young NBA rookie running in Milwaukee in just his team sweats. And they pulled over and said, hey, aren't you Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's been drafted by the Bucks?" And he said, yeah, I'm going back to training. I literally have no money because I've just sent it all to my family in Greece. So they gave him a ride back to the training venue. He signed an autograph for him, didn't have a photo, but it just shows how connected he is to his family and how amazing that was for him to win the title today. Um, NBA tops. So I access some of them um, through networks that I've met via social media, which is bizarre. So I've got some signed stuff, which I love sports jerseys. Like that's my thing. Um, And I've got a lot of them through people that have been um, like strength and conditioning coaches through soccer here in Australia that have moved to NBA sides and things like that. So um, it's, I access them from everywhere. It's a very long winded answer to the question. I'm sorry, Bali. Um, but I, I, I love the NBA. Oh, I, I do. Really? I love all the stories that happen with it. I was happy and sad. Yeah, I was happy and sad with it today because Chris Paul, who is a really good friend of LeBron James, he's been in the league for over 15 years. It would have been really nice to see him win a title, but it was nice today. And mate, there were 65,000 people outside the stadium today. There were 17,000 or something inside the stadium, which starts the argument of like, do you have sport again in Australia, but only people vaccinated are allowed to go. Like you see what they're, they're happening in France at the moment where they're basically going, unless you are vaccinated, you can't go to a restaurant. It's full on. Edit. <laughs> Sorry, did you say edit? You know. Oh, yeah. So that's a great question. Should I go to a question? Yeah, now? you go to one. Okay. <sighs> okay. So this is actually, <sighs> this is a question directed at me and I just spoke for heaps. So, Maddie, can you ask a question on Instagram which isn't directed at me? Because I'll yep. let someone else talk. Let me let me find Thanks. one. <laughs> um, okay, go to karaoke song. Good question. Go, Andy. Uh, Genuine Pony. Jeb- Jebediah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, beautiful. Rosie. Uh, Alicia Keys, Empire State of Mind. Um, mine is uh, Neil Diamond, Sweet Caroline. No, no, uh, absolutely no challenge. Yeah, nice. Mine's anything by Creed. <laughs> Creed with arms wide yeah. open. How, how, how many karaoke bars are supplying that song? I don't for know. You? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, not bad for you. Um, okay, so there's there's three people here who actually know the answer to this question. So it'll be interesting to see their response and when I answer it. So this is from Ben Herbig on Twitter, which is at spud underscore reg, which I'm not sure if at spud underscore reg is related to um, Harrington potato son on Facebook. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, here's a question, right? So the initial question was, not sure if you're able to, but could you tell us a bit more about what happened with Dylan and Haley, or is there an episode I should listen to? Follow up one: Was it a personality clash between Dylan and Haley, or Dylan and Haley teaming up against Jared? And is that why Shane got the flick? Ooh, wow! Spicy. Okay, so there's certain parts of this. I'm invested. It's spicy. So I'm going to say there's certain parts of this that I'm going to choose to answer, which are the facts that I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, maybe that question was from Matt. Go on. So the um, I'm going to choose to answer certain parts of this, um, and I've spoken about I've spoken about this before on the podcast, so that's totally fine. So we'll break this down. What happened with Shane? Um, I don't know. I literally don't know. And whatever happened in that conversation isn't my business. So I I can't answer that. There, Sh- I'm Jody Hinton. Hectic question. <laughs> yeah, just come on. So all I can say is this: find out all the answers you need. Yeah, so I'm going to give you the timeline, right? So uh, I was asked out for dinner, where I was told, as in, like I went to dinner, and I, I won't name names or positions in the business, um, out of res- respect for that. People have got the popcorn out. So I literally went out for dinner and it was, would you like a glass of wine? I'm like, yeah, sure, no, why not? No worries. Anyway, congratulations. You are on the breakfast show. I'm like, 
what do you mean I'm on the breakfast show? Like, well, no, you are on the breakfast show. Congratulations. I said, okay, so what happens to Shane? And then the response was, we'll sort that out tomorrow. So, okay. So we had the conversation. Um, literally, that was the first thing I asked. Um, and then uh, went home. Rosie, we spoke about this yesterday and I called you because my initial thought was like, this is awesome because all I wanted at, at this point was, yeah, it's a great opportunity, but I want Rosie to get her opportunity as well because I have a vested interest in Rosie because I was so passionate to get Rosie from Hobart to Adelaide. So to see that, is Adam. And you know that I'm being genuine when I say that. I'm not I'm not being uh, fake. So anyway, the next day I had to go on the air where I was in a studio where there was one studio here, a glass partition, and then the other studio where Dylan Haley and Shane were in. I was doing mornings at the time. I had to watch the bosses tell Dylan and Haley that I was on the show and Shane was no longer on the show. I tell you what, I chat so much that morning. I was on the toilet all morning feeling sick because I had to watch that happen. So for, for me, the moment of I'm really excited that I have a breakfast opportunity where a lot of people see that as a really good thing, um, that turned into a this is a really shit thing, literally. So uh, that happened. Anyway, I was told that the show was going to be Dylan, Haley, and Jared. We spoke about this yesterday. And then a week later, no, it's just Dylan and Haley. We moved into the show. Um but from what I can understand, Dylan resigned and that happened. And then um, Haley decided to resign as well. And I said to, uh, this was in September. So we had a bit of time to plan what happened from there. Um, and at that point, I originally thought, cool, I want to be part of the next show. But then when I was told that Ben and Liam were coming to Adelaide, I'm like, that's a Great. No worries. That's fine. And I moved into doing the sports show on 5AA and um, mornings at Nova. So uh, honestly, that's literally what happened. Um, I don't know what happened with Shane. Um, that's not my business in regards to that conversation. Again, the question of that night when I was told that I was going into breakfast, the question was, how is Shane? Does he know? Because his well-being was my concern too. Um so we basically got to that point. So there wasn't Dylan and Haley loved one another. They they got in great. Dylan Dylan told Haley that he was resigning. Dylan told the producer he was resigning. He didn't tell me. So Dylan was uh, Dylan had an issue with me. I think because I wasn't Shane, and that's fine. So that's what happened. I'm happy to talk about it because I'm not going to lie. We we live in this world of uh, media where everybody fabricates stuff and it's bullshit and. That's why I was so honest when I was made redundant from Nova because I wanted to say I was made redundant from Nova instead of going, I'm just leaving. I want to go explore other opportunities. That's what happened. Um, and I'm fine with it. It's a very long answer to the question. Did I talk for too long there? Probably. All right, guys, uh, let's try to con. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions from that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any questions from that? Or what? But Andy, you were there when it happened. Rosie, you were there when it happened. And Maddie, yeah. I, was, I was talking to you at the time it was happening. I, just, so I, just, I know that I just, the bit that I would only want to comment on is how yeah. shit it was that both you and I couldn't almost celebrate our 100%. emotions because there was... Like someone lost. I, mean, I guess that's any. You know, the mo the, like it was so just like, right, I don't Rosie. want to celebrate this because someone just had their whole life fucked up. And 100%. Kind of, so that's the thing. So ruined. there's in that studio that you, that I was in before you moved into, there were still pieces of paper on that wall in that studio that said, congratulations, Rosie, you've got the morning's job. Well done. They were in there for that time that you were in there for the, the two years, right? Yeah. And the, the conversation to the staff that was supposed to be Jared's joining the breakfast show, this is a great opportunity. It actually turned into, we just got to go into crisis mode. So then it was like, okay. And I'll be honest with you, right? Where I'm sitting right now, in I'm on my back deck uh, at my house. My beautiful wife organized my best mates to come around. So the three godfathers of rain to come around to my house with their partners because she saw that that first week of me doing breakfast at Nova broke me because it, I walked in knowing that I wasn't wanted, wasn't valued. I was there just to serve a purpose for them at the time. And my mate said, Hey mate, congratulations. I said, I cried the whole weekend. I'm like, this is, wait, this is supposed to be a good thing, but it wasn't. The moment that I had came a year later when I joined the sports show and I felt valued and I felt excited to be there and I had a great time. So you're right. We didn't get like, we didn't get a moment to go, 
hey, this is really good for you. I was told by bosses, mate, you just got to put your big boy pants on. That's literally a sentence that was said to me, be my guy. Well, hold on. And I'm really mindful of people now that are in not just specifically that environment, but anyone to actually understand your value and your worth as a person. I tell you that every time I speak to you, Rosie, like know your value as a person because that that's transferable to any business in any part of life. Um, it was a really uh, it was a really tough time, and I'm I'm proud of how I handled it. And Rosie, you bloody handled it really well. So it was just oh, it was just full on. So it was a long answer. But you know what? People ask questions. I'm happy to be honest about this stuff because it was a pretty public thing. Yeah. Did you guys ever listen to Paul Amanda and James? Yeah, I did. And I remember that secret sound. I was driving. Coffee was percolator. Bike Coffee, to yes. 100%. Boy. Coffee percolator, 1999, that happened. Yeah, I yeah. remember seeing like Today Tonight stories on it because it went on forever. And yeah. there was people with all these weird theories that if they stood out the side, outside of the station and rang, they'd get through. <laughs> yeah. um, all this sort of weird stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, people lose yeah. their minds. That's great. Um, so thank you for that question. But again, this is what, what I love about this podcast. And I say the word therapeutic a lot because it is for us. But we just talk about stuff. It's so good. Like, why not? You know, Andy's... There was a photo memory that came up the other day that we shared. Annie's farewell was a leftover cake from someone else. Oh, yeah, that was hilarious. Was it? Yeah, it was a picture oh, I took of, of him. What the fuck? You've been there for 10 years, bro. You gave him a video message and he was feeding the TV. The it's a great video message, though. The, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a great video message. It was brilliantly produced. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hello. Uh, oh, that was- I'm just going to get a. Uh, I'm just going to get a shifty lizard. Give me 20 oh. seconds. Talk about your farewell, Andy, because I'll be back kind of like I wasn't at the farewell. All right, so the farewell was pretty, Why did he uh, miss your farewell? Sorry, so say again? Why did he miss your farewell? I can't remember. I don't know. It's a good, maybe he was just so upset. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was like in, in the scheme of things, it was uh, if you were going to rate it as uh, really good or really shit, probably give it a one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But um, uh, yeah, it is what it Maddie, is. Maddie, what is that? Panda, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to distract you. But yeah, what, is, what is that panda? Right. Yeah, it's a heat bag. Oh. oh. Yeah, right. Tell it comforter. Yeah. Is that for your periods? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, panda. I thought that was what heat bags are for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, what's the next question you got, Maddie? Uh, um. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Lee Stone says late to the party, but it's good to see horny Rosie not eating into the mic. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I don't care You're how welcome. many people listen to us. The people who listen to us are us, and that is incredible, right? So yeah. thank you, people, for listening to us and watching this stuff. We're going to try and do this either every night or every second night during lockdown. Because just remember just, that one of us has an alarm that goes off at 20 yeah, It's not us. Four. You tell us all the time, mate. Yeah. I remember the first time I complained. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I've, got a cu- <laughs> <laughs> I've got, a, got a couple of throwaway <laughs> questions here that don't really uh, require answers, so I'll just run through them. Okay. Uh, one of them yeah, says, okay. does Jared have IBS? <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got that yeah. checked yet, but I think... Um, be- can we see Christopher? Did you not just see him? No, nah, get him on, get him on. I didn't see him. Oh. Christopher. Go on. Go on. Get him. Christopher. Get him. <laughs> this is Rosie's hot Christopher. husband. And come here, oh. babe. I mean, is that imagine, really that imagine, imagine, Sorry. imagine hearing that yell every day. I <laughs> <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> imagine why I got angry about the Can cameras. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> come here. Oh, now I she's doing some of these face. ones. I want to ask him a question. Yeah. Look how hot he is. He's so hot. Oh my god! Can he? he can <laughs> yeah. he? Can he? Can he, can he hear me? No, not as hot as you. Okay, I just, I've got one question. What was Are you op- circumcised? Oh. <laughs> 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 what, what, what was your honest <laughs> thoughts on nineteen minutes fifty episode three of Sex Life? Like, tell us what you really thought. <laughs> well, pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, nah, surely, surely, this surely a prosthetic. <coughs> I've seen it about like five or six times now, and uh, <laughs> surely a prosthetic. Bit of C- and that is linguine. Bit of CGI enhancement. Surely, it has to surely. be. It's awesome. Hey, Christopher, we love you, man, and we are we're always mindful of the fact that um, 
First of all, Harrington Potato Sun says you look Latino. So, <laughs> yeah. um, the camera does we, are, we love the fact and we're, we're mindful every time we speak with Rosie and we listen back to the podcast, we love that we can have fun with Rosie um, and sometimes it's inappropriate best. fun, but we're always it. mindful of the fact that um, it's all embraced. So thank you for letting us have some fun, oh, mate. No. Someone just asked to see your face. So, oh, okay. yeah. He's so hot. Now show us your penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and what are they called? The, the stripper button? Boner. Snap button. Oh, okay. It's graded. <laughs> Okay, right. Maddie, what's your next question? Well, thought. Thank you very much. For that last one from the uh, from the Instagram. Um, yeah. When is it okay to fart? Because Jared farted as I was filming Rain Dancing. Who do you reckon that was from? <laughs> <laughs> it's from my wife. <laughs> yeah, it's like the one that we had. Oh, now this is a, this is. We can't answer this question because out of the, the four of us, I'm the most comfortable being myself. Andy, you're afraid to fart in front of your partner. So are I you, Matt. I make this an Rosie, identity thing. I I'm okay absolutely with being am myself. not. It's got nothing to do with being yourself. It's got to do with being a filth bucket. I am absolutely fine it's farting on my wife in front of her. And there are so many people affected by okay. medical conditions well, in South Australia at the moment. Oh, that is that. Is, that is rich. Okay, you know well, that's a great one. Is that all the questions? Yeah, the rest. No, there's okay. the one about what time will this finish? No, yeah. Oh, there was one that said. Oh, did you ask? There that? was one. No, let me reword it. It said, "Can we make this a quickie?" <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right. Well, let's go into the quiz because it's been an hour since we've been doing this. So, um, Andy, you won the quiz yesterday. Matty, you missed out on it. And we'll go into the quiz and we'll wrap things up. Um, shout out to Damien Smith, who is watching this. Uh, Lena and Con at Brighton Trophy Centre says better out than in. So Con and Lena are watching this on two separate accounts at the moment, and we love those guys. Brighton Trophy Centre are closed at the moment, but um, we're not just saying this. Like uh, Con and Lena are the nicest people we've ever met. Like they're just kind, genuine. Con at nine o'clock in the morning is like, mate, you want a beer? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no, because it's nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but the, you got to support these guys and Steve, the pirate, he, he, like if he's not dumping at the gym and he's actually in his office, support him too. Shifty Lizard, I'm sure they're doing takeaway. Get behind local businesses. Let's go into the quiz intro. Hopefully it works. Yeah, very much so. Hopefully it works. Um, where is it again? Oh, here it is. Yeah, okay. is here. Edit point. <laughs> now, my best teammates. Back to the future quiz. Sounds like Andy's mic. Okay, Andy, you can uh, take this away. What? You got to lead the quiz, brother. Yeah, no, I was waiting for the... the uh, um, so I won the quiz yesterday, so fuck me. Uh, I have to do it. Um, so I have sat yeah. down for half an hour, come out with a lot of questions that um, were inappropriate, scrapped that, spent five minutes putting this together. So hopefully this goes really well. Uh, I'm looking okay. forward to it, you guys. No, I'm excited about it, bro. All right. Well, uh, your um, what is it? Your uh, the things you yell out. For the buzzer. Time? Yeah, buzzer. That's it. <laughs> I've had a couple of beers here, guys. I'm I'm really hanging on here. <laughs> your your um your buzzer will be your favourite food. Let's go with that. Jared. Steak. Yeah, boy. Uh, Rosie. Oh, bullets? No, that sounds wow. bad. Licorice. Licorice, okay. <laughs> licorice. Say licorice. And Maddie. <laughs> Vil Scalopini. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I'll, oh say, God. I'll, I'll say jelly. Jelly. Oh, jelly. <laughs> Are we going to talk about that jelly? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fine. I'm happy to answer any questions. <laughs> She's going on it. Um, Raspberry. Shall we kick off the quiz, guys? Yes. Yeah, All right, jelly chat later. Yeah, let's do the jelly chat later. Uh, all right, uh, number one. Question one, who is this? Now, they're an actor, so I'm cool with their real name or their stage name, okay? Here we go. I put up a flaming bacon and eggs. I yeah. put up a flaming vacuum cleaner. I will not uh, have uh, like She's that. Bill Scalapini. <laughs> yes, Maddie. <laughs> Ray Mayer, Alf. There we go, Maddie. Maddie's got one. Do it. Not the <laughs> alien. If, if, you get time, if you get time, go into YouTube and write, Home and away, rude. 
because a guy like, that takes oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy that takes <laughs> the piss is like someone I, pretending he's our steward. He's like, no, no, Alf, don't fuck him in the diner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I was looking for the uh, for that grab, that's all I could find. <laughs> yeah, the guy's name is like Doodleburger or yeah, something. Yeah. Doodleburg, that's yeah. right. Shout out, Lee. <laughs> all right. All right. Now, question number two: uh, What is our favourite beer in the Oscar Studios? Uh, um, steak. All right, Jared. Uh, it is the Shifty Lizard, the Brewski, and I had I had a, a couple of them yesterday when we were just chilling out recording, which is brilliant. Took some home in the fridge. Beautiful right now, and the the scaly texture on the label cool. is outstanding. So Lee, you looked after us the other night. I farted all the way home. Um. All right. We'll see if that's the right answer. Um. <laughs> no, 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 that is the right answer. All right. <laughs> Can you imagine if I said something else? Anyway, uh, all right. Question number three. Uh, guess this product that you would have had as a kid. I'm going to play part of the TV commercial, but the actual product has been beeped out, all right? So have a listen to this. Okay. My mum gives me to go and go and go. And my mum gave me Go and go and go. <laughs> oh, <That's> so wrong. <laughs> what was Andy, the product? Not have worked into the quiz. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Um, my mum gives me beep and go and go and filled peeny. Yeah, uh, baked beans. Uh, ooh, is that it, the correct answer? Mm. No. Nah. All right. Uh, do you want to hear it again? My mum. <laughs> yep. Yes, yep. please. Here we go. My mum gives me. To go and go and go, and my mum gave me. It's a horrible oh, place. Beep. Licorice. <laughs> is, right. it, is it? Is it jelly? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Andy <laughs> takes the time to look straight down the barrel and go. You are a fuckhead. <laughs> my mum gives me walnuts. 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 <laughs> is it walnuts? Um. Mm. Nah. Um, should I give you a hint? Veal me- scallopini. Wow. Okay. Yes, Maddie. Can I see? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's chocolate, and you put it in a glass. Licorice. Milo. Is it Milo? Oh, oh, uh, okay, uh, yeah. My veal veal scallopini. <laughs> Everyone's Nes- Nesquik. <laughs> Is <it> Milo? Okay, <laughs> Maddie, you can fuck off. Um. No. <laughs> Jody, uh, Jared? Kira, and Kira says Wheat Bix KFC. Damo says Milo. Jody says Milo. Yeah, all right. I'm going to play it. Let's see what it is. My mum gives me Milo to go and go and go. Milo. My mum well gives me Milo to go and go. Sounds pretty sexy, though, when you uh, beep it out. Just saying. Uh, I don't so, think yeah, sex is the right word. That's <laughs> no, pretty much the wrong word. Uh, okay, question number four. Which gourmet food box business is the best ever? Uh, steak. Oh. Yeah, Jerry. <laughs> Little box <laughs> co. Is this an ad? <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a correct answer there, sir. All right, here we go. Yeah, um, shout out to Little Box to Co. Box. as well because they're a local business too, so you've got to get behind Little Box Co. The, the conflicting thing is mm. Andy's currently eating most of the product in Little Box Co., so yeah. whatever you get is whatever let's left on. Yeah. Also, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, um, I'm intrigued by the bucket of Skittles right mm. behind you, just right above your head there. Where? Like your house would be the place to yeah. get snacks during yeah, the lockdown. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. this is a whole store in full There's of Maltesers. Food. I reckon it's Maltesers. Mm. Uh, is that one of the questions? Jared, you got a correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. you jelly? <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, all right. Where is this year's Olympics being held right now? Oh, mm. Jared. Oh, Penny. No, you didn't use your right buzzer. Yeah, I'm going to get Maddie on that one. Steak. Um, yeah, it's the uh, country that you beat on your own, Japan. Yeah, boy. Where? <laughs> hey? Like, where is Tokyo. it? Yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, cool. Oh, Tokyo. Oh. Well, Tokyo. Oh, just said Tokyo. So I got a message on social media from a guy because I wrote a tweet saying, oh, the, the Olympics is in 2032. It makes you think how old you are. What about this river response? I'm okay, but really worried about my children's future. You should also be worried about your children's future. Being a smart man, look at the world around us, you know, worry about how we bring up our children in this communist society. And I'm like, bro, um, in 12 years, I will be 49. That's it. People just take social media too seriously. <laughs> 
That's weird. Um, all right, let's anyway, get into it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the next, uh, uh, speaking of the Olympics right now, uh, what are the anti sex bags, in, uh, sex beds in the Olympic Village made of? Oh, click uh, ja- uh, steak. I'm going to go Rosie steak on that one. Cardboard. Oh, <laughs> fine. I mean, I really don't think I've won that one, but I will happily take the point. Cardboard. You won to Jared as well oh, on that God. one there because he's a good Josh sport. Miller on Facebook. Will that shelf behind Andy last the rest of the episode? Got a bit of a lean going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or I'm is that Andy? Again. What's leaning? Oh, that's me. That's next question. Yeah. Is that me? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> up it's kind of cold. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, heading towards the world of Australian Idol. Season one, who had an affair with Paris Hilton on a fair? Steak, Millsy. Millsy, and um, his first single was called I'm Moving On. Uh-huh. Go on I'm moving on. on. I'm up. feeling strong. Well done there, Thank Jared. You. All right, question number eight. Quite you a lose a point one. for knowing that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. lose a point. You just lost yourself six points, sir. You're down to zero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rosie, Rosie, can I just, can I just say? 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. you got to get up in six hours, mate. <laughs> no, <I'm> not, <laughs> uh, throwback to a previous episode. I'm not that old that I do that. Ooh, I oh, am. <laughs> I got to get up in probably an hour because my kids are going to wake up. So, <laughs> anyway, all right, go, go, go. What question are we up to? Is it seven or eight or nine? Nana or Hines, Matt Burgess. All right, guys, we're at the question number eight. Uh, this is okay, an okay. Australian one. A jumbuck is an Australian English term for what? Oh, Vil Scalapini. Yes, Matty. <laughs> that sentence makes no sense. Um, like a reindeer. <laughs> reindeer. Very Australian animal. Yeah, steak. The outback. Uh, yes, Jared. Is it like a? Is it like a um a kangaroo? Mm. Uh, licorice. Oh, look at me when you buzz me. Out, you it's, um, it's a, it's a, is it? Is it a sheep? Is it a sheep? Yes, Rosie, it's a sheep. <laughs> oh, my God, don't do it. The suspense doesn't work because it's a delay. So I, don't, I don't think it's suspense. I literally think it's a delay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we've got two more questions. Uh, number nine, the uh, Melbourne wait. Cup is run on which race course? Oh, I feel uh, like a steak. Ooh, who's, uh, just give me an answer to someone. Flemington. Flemington. Oh, damn it. That's got good. <laughs> All right, yep. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and, the, and the final question, this makes it probably 11 because we added one in there with the uh, the old mate Maltesers behind me. Uh, but yeah. who's going to win this round, do you reckon? Stay. Wait, is that a question? Yeah. Matt? Oh, oh it's uh, Bill Scalapini. <laughs> Matty? Rosie? Uh, you both wrong. <laughs> one, two. Okay. Oh. Rosie, are you going to... Give us an answer here, or are you just um, licorice? Yep. Me? Andy. No, oh, I'm fucking my answer. It, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just finish that one off there. That's great. <laughs> Is it me? Did I win? Jared won this round, guys. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Jared up with seven points, Rosie two, and Maddie with three. Uh, so that means I am going to be hosting uh, the trivia now. I don't want to put you guys on the spot. We're in lockdown. Do you? I I personally think we should do this again tomorrow. I'm free. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Is the Bachelor on tomorrow? (laughs) Yeah, it is. It's on Wednesdays and Thursdays. What's everyone's thoughts on potentially doing this again tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Doing during the during the day or at night. Okay, we can discuss times off of the oh, okay. <laughs> Facebook Live. <laughs> Fair call. Well, Fair thank call. you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we will do this tomorrow. We'll no, we need back. to so do the shifty sounds on, on the next one. We'll do the shifty yeah. sound tomorrow. We'll do the shifty okay. sound tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Sorry about the light. Uh, we are very grateful that you've got on board, no matter where you are watching or how often, to Con, Lena, Brighton Trophy Centre, Stavros, Steve the Pirate, Minor Movement, Lee, Shifty Lizard, uh, Oscast Network. Thank you very much. This is Best Team Mates. Have a listen to Connie. Give us the outro. We'll wave goodbye. We'll drink the Shifty Lizard. Be safe, Adelaide. Thank you. We love you. Brought to you by the Brighton Trophy Centre. Cups, trophy, badges, medals. Yeah, yeah. yeah we do it better. Yeah. Best Team, man. PTC, BTM, PTS. Yeah, best team, man. Oh, yeah.
week. Okay. Hi, Jeremy Cordo in the Court of Public Opinion. I'm just on air here to let you know that we'll be live streaming the Court of Public Opinion every Friday between 9 o'clock and 12 on jeremycordo.com. Please join us. We'd love to have you. <laughs>